How's it going, everybody? My name is Genius, bringing you guys part 20 for my playthrough for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. As always, if you do enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Also, guys, don't forget, follow me on Twitch at Genius25. Turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on any of my live streams. So, guys, in the last episode, we actually finished up a couple shrines in the Elden region. And then we actually unlocked our second fairy fountain. But in this episode, we're actually going to be traveling to a new area and discovering new parts. But before we even start there, I gotta show you guys something. Look at this. We went and we cooked some meals finally. So we got a bunch of different meals, some that do different things. We got a defense boost here. We got attack boost down there. We got some stamina. And then we got some stuff to just like fill the hearts and everything. So it's going to be good. We actually switched to our good armor. But first episode, we're actually going to be discovering the region down here. So we're actually going to start off. Where should we start? What's right here? Hmm. Now we're going to start off. Yeah, we're going to start off right here, actually. We're going to start off right at the Hiteno Tower and we're going to make our way that way now that we've made it to the hiteno tower it's actually pouring out here but we actually see something all the way to the left here which is a shrine i believe that's an area that we want to go to yes it is but we do not see the sheikah tower so we're actually just going to glide off here and try to make our way over there to find the sheikah tower i saw a sheikah tower over to the right there it is right over there but that that is actually for the region right next to it so we're gonna have to climb through mountains and everything hopefully the rain stops soon so we can be able to find this sheikah tower because you guys know that's the first order of business when finding any region. Look at us go. We got this little cave right here. Should I go through it? Now we're going to follow up this path and try to find the Sheikah Tower. But look, we got a fox. We can't actually bring out our weapons. Actually, we can. It is raining, not thundering, so we're good. We're going to go to our, bring out our Lionel Shield because we've been using that. Bring out this bow. We've been using that too. And what sword should we use? Hmm. We don't really have too much to use. I don't want to use my permanent weapons. We're going to use the Great Frost Blade Act or Flame Blade. So we're going to get grooving with that. Because these are actually like very easy to uh, get another one of. Because I know a few locations where they respawn every time there's the Blood Moon. So now we get grooving in this location. What's this guy shooting stuff at us? He's giving us free arrows so, though. So I enjoy it. <laughs> Stupid skeleton boys. What you want, fool? What you want? So we're actually going to make our way up this mountain. And then we can see if we can see the Sheikah Tower from there. So guys, after traveling for a little bit, we actually made our way over here, and I believe the Sheikah Tower is somewhere over there. But before we even do that, we're actually on the map right here, above the Tato Sa Shrine. If you actually come right down here where this little pond meets, I want to show you guys something very, very cool. There's actually a shrine nearby, but I want to show you guys something that is probably one of the best things you could do in this game. For farming rupees and for getting materials. So, right here is actually where the electric dragon spawns, right here. Exactly right there, but he only spawns in the morning, so... If you actually bring out wood or something, let me go grab wood. We have plenty of it. We're going to hold it down here. We're going to light it up with a flame blade. You can actually come here and farm all of his materials because you can sell high for rupees. You just sit by the fire, bring like a flame blade or something. Sit till morning. He will actually come out right here. Just check it out. So cool. Ready? Here we come, baby. And he actually creates an updrift and we actually need his horn. I'm trying to get his horn. Can I hit this horn? Did we get his horn? I think we might have got his horn, but you can only get one hit, hit per thing. Hopefully that's his horn. We need two of his horns. And the material will actually just sit there for right now, so which is pretty nice. So we can actually just, look, we can actually just come here, say, sorry guys. Oh, what's the problem? This guy's destroying my stuff. But look at this thing. This guy's glorious. He just spawns from there. Each dragon has a spawn point, but this is just the easiest one to just chill by. So now we can grab another piece of wood. Come up here. Let me play some sick music. Swing the flame blade again, sit by the fire till the morning, and he will just respawn. Our material will actually stay there, too. It just sits there. So you can actually just keep racking it up, and then when you're done, just go pick up, like, all thousand of the materials that you got. But we got to hit him right in the horn. So we're actually going to aim this really higher, like, that, I think, should be a good shot. We missed. Oh, we're missing again. We're just going to take a scale or something right now. Give me a scale! <laughs> What bow are we using? We're gonna use this nice bow. At least give me something so I can sell it later. We're just gonna shoot it at him. Come on, hit him. There we go. And we'll take that one, I guess. <laughs> there we go. Look, get that material. It's just falling. We can do this one more time. I just need the horn because I need two horns. Actually, I believe the first hit was a horn. And I need one more in order to upgrade my tunic because you need two of Fire Rush's horns. Actually, catch this updrift. So, yeet. Fire that up. We're gonna fire a couple shots. There we go. That's a horn shot. And I believe both of those should be horns. I'm hoping. If not, we'll do another one off screen or something. Well, let's go grab and see. But look at this, dude. 
That is such a cool thing. You can just sit here and farm it and then go sell all the material that you get. All the scales, the horns, the claws. But this is just so cool. Look at this boy. He spawns there every morning. So you can just sit there and do that. Is that two horns? I believe so. What we got here? Horn. What's this? This is a scale. Come on, show me another one of horn. Where's the last one at? I believe it came over here. Come on. Horn, horn, horn. I think it's a scale. No! <laughs> we gotta do this one more time. Look at us gliding over here. Look, there's a Lionel right there, too. We can actually face him, but we actually might do that later. That'd be fun. We're gonna go grab our last piece of the horn right here and find that Sheikah Tower for this area. There we go. Got the second horn. Where are you, Sheikah Tower? I believe it's like hiding in the brush or something. I'm not too sure. It actually might be over this way, so we're actually just gonna glide here. Gotta remember that there is a Lionel right up there. I believe there's a Henox over here, too. And you guys haven't seen the Henoxes yet. Those things are big boys. They're big boys. But yeah, this place is so cool. I love it. It's like a rainforest. You got all the river. It actually rains a lot here, so I'm guessing it is a rainforest. But you got that electric dragon chilling there. You got the spawn point for him. Right there. It's awesome. Oh, I missed that lizard. I could have grabbed him. I wasn't even paying attention. All right, where's the Sheikah Tower at? There it is. It's just chilling right there. Uh-oh. We got a bull. Dude, I thought he was just going to ram into me. We're good. He's running away from us. We'll let him live. But I believe the Sheikah Tower is right there. There she is. It's actually nice. Maybe we can get a nice glide and not even have to climb on top of it. Let's check it out. Yee. Come on. Hopefully we can land. Now, we're not going to land on top of it, but we can probably land on a platform below it and start climbing up it. Let's see. Look at this. Yeah, this Sheikah Tower is actually kind of like hidden in the back. This is the Pharaon region. I actually forgot the name, but we got it now. We can climb up it. Get up there, Link. There we go. We can actually distill this little piece of the map into our Sheikah Slate. Let's go, baby. Check it. Check it. Look at this. We gotta look out for shrines now. We actually have four spirit orbs. We can actually collect another heart in here. I was gonna head west of the... I think that's, that's shrines in a different region. But I was gonna head west of the Elden region. But we actually need 13 hearts in order to do what I want to do there. That's like a big part in the game. So we'll be doing that very soon. Considering I think we're at 10. Or we're at 9. We can push 10. Because I know I have four spirit orbs. Drip it in. Bang. There we go. We actually have one shrine marked on our map, but that's all the way at the other end. Ready? It should be pinned on my map. Yeah, see the little green pin over there? And then look where we're at. We're all the way over there. But look how cool this place is. I know where there's a few shrines. There's like a nice beach area over here. So we're going to go check that out and do all that. There we go. Get that onto our map. Let's see if we can see anything. That shrine is over in the other region. And I believe we're good. There actually should be a shrine hidden in the back here. So we're going to head over here, head to the town, and do another shrine. So, guys, if we actually make our way to the stables right here. It's the lakeside stables, I believe. Yes, right here. You can actually come behind it. And you got this rock just chilling here. So you bring out your bomb. Come out. Huck it over there. Bang. Blow it up. And inside is a nice juicy shrine for us. Let's go, baby. Let's hop in here and grab ourselves another spirit orb. We're making our way into the shrine. It's called Halt the Tilt. So... If you actually check this out, the tilt's gonna just make that happen. So we're gonna need something in order to stop the tilt. So in order to do that, you can just bring out your stasis. It's pretty simple. You just make it stay still and you can walk straight up it. It's pretty simple. I'm actually just gonna break this real quick. So get out of here so I think it can start loading a little a bit quicker. Stop this tilt once this, our timer gets ready. Like so, bang, we make our way up here. We can actually get ourselves, let me break this real quick. Actually, we won't even need that. We don't even need that. Ready? I'll show you guys. Quick little tip right here. Since this is a metal chest, we can actually grab whatever inside of it. We got the soldier's broads worth. We're going to grab our magnesis. Look at this. We could just come over here. Oh, no! Get back here. I think this will work. Actually, get this close to us. Actually, put this down here. We can actually run up here. Oh, no, it doesn't work. We're actually going to have to stasis this thing. So, sorry, little chest. Stasis this. Make our way up here and keep moving along for this shrine. There's the end of the shrine. We're actually almost done it. That blue flame one. I think it was we did that in the last episode. It was so long. It was ridiculous. Okay, so this one. I guess we're just going to have to halt this one. So let's check it out. Hmm. How are we supposed to do this one? If we actually go like this. I believe if we bring it forward a little bit, it shows its little trajectory. I think we could drop it like this. And yeet ourselves up there. Okay, I see a little thing going on here. But ready? Check this out. We're going to actually go here. We're not too worried about that chest. So we're actually going to... 
Go like this. We're gonna go here. Stasis. Into Magnesis. Can we grab this chest? I don't think we can do this in time. We are running out of time. Maybe we can just launch ourselves and glide the other way. We'll see. Let's try it. Right here. Yee. Go, Link. Get up there. Yes! <laughs> so that's how it's done. There we go. I think we're actually supposed to launch ourselves up there and then stasis this and glide back. But that works. We'll take it. <laughs> Making it out of this shrine, we're actually going to start heading all the way east over here to like this mountain right here look at this on the map there's a little heart shape little lake there it's a cool little touch but we're actually gonna be heading our way over this way to the shores and the beach and do the shrine up here and maybe some shrines in between so let's get heading that way guys check this out on our path towards the beach and everything we're on the floria bridge and just look how beautiful this is like this is why this is the best legend of zelda game ever like just check this out we're just sitting here Walking through waterfalls and all that, and each region is different. It's just crazy. We can actually... Oh, look, we got a little pinwheel here. I want to show you guys what a pinwheel is. Actually brings out little balloons. And I don't know if our bows can reach, but we have to shoot those targets. Can we hit that one? Got that. Snipe that one. This one's got to go a little higher like that. Bang, one more, and then... Yeet! And this is all for just... Oh, missed that one a little bit higher, like so. Bang. There we go. And this is all for a nice little Korok seed. But, if we actually bring out a Zora suit, it's actually pretty cool. We can actually swim up all these waterfalls, which is nice. But, just wanted to show you guys that as we take our path here. Because just check it out. Looks awesome. Unreal. Check this out, guys. We're actually going up a waterfall right now. I hear a shrine nearby, but it's raining. But we actually need the rain. Here it is, right here. This is exactly what I wanted. It's right here. We actually have to make our way up here while it's raining. I want to show you guys. It's actually one of the cooler shrines to unlock. Get up there, Link. Come on. Come on, climb, buddy. Come on. Yeet. All right, make our way up here. And we got this huge rock just chilling here. I will show you guys exactly how to unlock it. It is such a cool shrine. So, I hear, like, music going on. I believe it's, his name's Kazio or something. Where's our boy at? Here, we're getting closer and closer to the music. I don't even know where he's at. Where's our boy at? I don't know. But I got to show you guys something. How to unlock this shrine. We actually... Bring out a metal weapon. We need any metal weapon. We're gonna... Actually, we gotta make our way up top on top of this thing. So we're gonna get climbing. Oh my god. Come on, get up there, Link. So we actually make our way right here. We actually take out any metal weapon, anything that has electricity, and we drop it. No! We have to drop it right on top. So we're, we're gonna pick that one up in a bit. We're gonna do this with the night spell. So look at this thing. Once this thing actually gets caught on by the lightning, see? It's starting to get caught on by the lightning. We're gonna head back down here so we don't die or anything. That thing is getting caught on by the lightning right now. And check this out, guys. Boom! Look at that. We unlocked the shrine, so you have to get rid of a weapon or something. But that is one of the coolest ways to open up a shrine. Come on, that is sick. And check this out. Since... We had to figure out a little bit. It's just a blessing shrine. So we come in here, grab the chest, you know. You know what a blessing shrine is by now. It's awesome. Get in here, grab the chest. We got rubber tights, which is actually shock-resistant armor. There's actually two more sets hidden around the land of Hyrule. But we can grab the spirit orb and head to the last shrine I want to do for this video. You're actually supposed to talk to this guy right here. He's a little bird. He gives you a shrine quest to teach you how to do everything. Oh, let me drop this bow. I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, you actually talk to him. He gives you the shrine quest and all that. And then you would know what to do. But since I already beat this game, I kind of... I already know what to do. <laughs> We're going to head on this path over here and start making our way to the beach area. You're making it over to the beach area. This is actually called Lorlin Village. And there's actually a shrine right here because it's a main place. But I want to show you guys something so cool after this. We're going to do this shrine, then I want to show you it, and then we'll end off the video. We're making it in here. It's called a weighty decision. So we're actually going to have to get on different things and use our magnesis. Because we have this big metal block right here. We got, like, this little, like, scale-looking thing. We actually bring over the metal block. We can actually put that there and then make our way over this way. Oh, look at this chump guardian. Ready? Watch this little glide. Yee! Bang! Only seven. Only 25 damage, but he wants the weapons. Wham! Wham! <laughs> Shred it. Oh, we can't carry anything. See you later, Torch. Dropping you out of here. We'll pick up that guardian weapon. And then you got this chest right here. Easy enough. It's a metal chest, as you can see. Bring it over to yourself. Drop it on the ground. And bang, open it up. See what you got in here. What we got? 
We got a nice Brawlworth. Oh, yeah. We'll drop something for that. We got this crusty Brawlsworth, a soldier's one. Drop that. Now I can pick up this one. But, guys, the thing I want to show you after this is, like, my favorite detail within this game, considering... The Wind Waker is my favorite game, so... <laughs> Here's a little hint, hint for you guys. So, you guys actually come over here. You can actually drop this chest right here. You can actually press this button down. You can actually put, like, anything on there. You can put, like, a sword or something. You can put, like, any metal material will keep that button down. That's nice. So now we can actually make our way over here, and we got... This little, like, puzzle thing here with the weights again. So you can actually hop up here. And hop up here. And see what this does. This will actually lower this one and raise that one. And then if you get off of it, it stops. So we're going to actually have to figure out what to do here. So if you actually come back here, you can actually grab yourself this nice metal chest over here. You can actually bring this back and use it to your advantage over here. So you come up here. Since I already knocked that one down, we're actually just going to drop this one right here. Pull that platform down. We're going to get on top of this one now. And we're going to put this over here. And raise our level up. Yeah. Come over here. Drop this one down. Grab Magnesis again. Grab that chest. And eat this one over here. And maybe we could just make a glide for it. Come on, Link! Nope, ain't happening. Then come over here and move this chest back to this platform right here. I'm not too worried about that other chest either. Move that there. This will bop us up here. And we can actually make our way to the end of the shrine. Making our way out of this shrine. I actually want to show you guys one thing over here. So you can see this cool little village right here. This awesome little village. Like, just look how cool it is. I'm always a sucker for, like, all this beach stuff and everything. But if you actually make your way over to this ladder over here. It's actually something very cool. I don't know if any of you guys played Wind Waker. But that is my favorite Legend of Zelda game. It's probably my favorite game of all time. I'm not saying that it's better than Breath of the Wild, but I'm just saying, like, that's just my favorite one, in my opinion. If you actually stand here in the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, the first city or town you actually live in is this. This is an exact replica. You actually have this little post right here that you stand in the game, and it actually looks exactly the same. You guys should actually go look it up. It's actually very cool. I just want to show you guys that. But that's going to be it for today's episode. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget, guys, follow me on Twitch at Genes25 so you don't miss out on any of the live streams. So, I'll see you guys there. I better. Come in the chat, hang out, you know, you know the deal. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.